about two years back, um, our team got together and uh, we had a long discussion in terms of who we wanted to be. I think the question kept coming back to the fact that, you know, all of us are retailers out there, we all sell stuff. But as we looked at the environment and the world around us, I mean, the most important thing that we felt we could make a difference in was people's lives. And um, if you ask most of our team members today, you know, how and why are we different, I think we would all say that we want to connect emotionally with our consumers. So if there is one differentiating proposition that we have, it is what we call our EQ. No, I don't think it's about something against our competition. We looked at the world around us and we kind of saw that, you know, life was so stressful today. Uh, traffic, family, work, people, paying bills. Retailing wasn't fun anymore. And I think all of us got together at Spa and said, you know, how can, we, how can we make it fun? How can we make people smile every time they come into our stores? So very clearly we had one mission, and that was to emotionally connect with our customers every time they shopped at our stores. To be the most engaging and innovative hypermarket in this country. Uh, we clearly decided that we wanted to make a difference in the lives of our team members, our customers, our communities, and our shareholders. We've kept it pretty simple so that we can stay focused and have fun doing what we're doing. Uh, definitely has to be one of the most uh, humbling experiences of my life. Um, to be able to do what you do, uh, to be able to love um, doing it every day of your life and to be able to do it with people that you love, um, that's about the ultimate in life. And uh, the word trust is an extremely powerful word and to be given that responsibility is uh, is even more breathtaking in a sense. So, um, I'm extremely grateful and I just hope I can live up to, to this honor um, for years to come. So, very grateful. I think the future is, uh, it's, it's, it's exciting because the doors we've opened for ourselves is, uh, is clearly about making life fun for our consumers. Um, every time the husband or the child come into a spa store, we're very clear that we want them to say, I don't want to leave. Uh, we, we're looking at our ecosystem where all our vendor partners with this technology, product, um, marketing, you name it, they all join in this journey. So what, what makes us even more interesting and exciting is we don't even know where the end is. The opportunities are so much, there is so much to innovate, create and do different that this is, uh, you can just see a whole path of... Uh, you know, years of fun ahead of us. So, uh, it will be customer centric, it will be customer focused, but it's going to be a hell of a lot of fun doing it. I think trust, trust is extremely important. Um, you know, it's, it's very easy to lead top down and direct people in terms of what needs to be done, but when people do things because they believe in uh, what you stand for, they believe in what the organization stands for, and they do things because it means something to them. I think that's extremely important. I think honesty is very important. Um, everybody should know where they stand. As an organization, we should know what we believe in, why we believe in something. And it's, it's inclusive in, in its journey. Um, and finally, I think we've got to, uh, and I, I may be the wrong person to say this in terms of, you know, you've got to keep empowering your teams to make a difference in, in what they do every day of their lives, uh, whether it's within the business, outside, family, or whatever it is. And if you can lead them and make them successful, then chances you are you have achieved something as a leader yourself. So, I think it's it's, it's always been very simple. Early on in my life, I think I was very uh, I was very focused in terms of it was the I I had to achieve, I had to be successful, I had to get promoted. But as the years kept going past, as you moved up the ladder, you realized that your ability to influence was to make a difference in the lives of your team members, not just at work, but at home. You had the ability to make a difference in your communities, in the ecosystem. So I guess every day that I get up, I try to see how can I make a difference in somebody's life and make them smile or you know, have made a difference in their lives in some, some small way, whatever possible. So while it's not just about business, it is about life in general. Seeing somebody else succeed, uh, without a doubt. Um, I know I'm tough, I'm challenging, I expect a lot of my people, but when I see them win, when I see them getting across the line, when I see somebody having a smile on their face when they didn't expect to, um, 
it's the most rewarding thing in your life. So my high, my energy comes off seeing other people succeed. And how do you measure up to your own definition of success? I never will um, because this is, uh, this is never a day that ends. It's always the next day and it's the next line and it's the next, uh, you know, what else can we continue doing? What else can I do to make a difference? So my journey, is, my, my life doesn't stop. It may not be a good thing in some form, but it's always moving to the next, uh, next goal or next benchmark or next something. I think the opportunity for the industry to contribute is huge. Are we doing it? Uh, in some small ways, yes. You know, retail has uh, got the ability to touch so many different facets of an ecosystem. Uh, it's the consumer, it is the manufacturer, it's the vendor partners, it's technology, it's marketing, it's, uh, I mean, you name it, retail touches it. But maybe we've been, we haven't been as inclusive as we can be in collaborating with each other while we work towards things. But fortunately, as part in the last couple of years, we've, we've had some amazing partners who've joined in that journey of innovation, creativity, and collaboration that I hope and we will continue to see if we can influence that kind of, you know, a bigger picture in all of us working to making some, a difference in the community or making a difference in, in our customers' lives. So I see retail playing a huge part in, in the India journey as we go forward because it's never going to stop. And as you know, India is one of the youngest populations today. It will still be one of the youngest 20 years from now. It's one of the fastest growing economies in the world. So we have a huge role and responsibility to play in the entire ecosystem. So I look forward to it with a lot of fun, energy and excitement saying there is much more to be done. So. Control, control, control. I think, you know, as every leader, we not, not, it's not fair to say every leader. I think a lot of us want to have our fingers in every pie. Uh, I tend to get my head into every sandbox in every corner. Um, trying to learn in terms of how do we empower the, empower the teams better, faster, quicker. So if I had to continue getting better at something, I would say take the risk and let your teams go. Uh, have fun doing it. Take the risk. Wow, have no idea. It will change. It will continue changing. Um, if you look at the changes in the retail industry in India itself in the last 10 years, uh, would any of us have expected to see what we're seeing today? I don't think anybody would have dreamt it. Flipkart's a great, great uh, story. You know, 2007, they were selling a few books. Today, it's one of the largest e-commerce deals that ever happened. India's going to grow at an incredible pace. So I think any of us would be remiss if we could sit here and predict what's going to happen because I think the, the pace at which we're going to change is going to be tremendous. Fortunately, though, I think the change is going to be different at, at different levels of the ecosystem or the economic strata, for example. So the opportunities for change are going to be huge, but are we going to be able to define the end line uh, 10 years from now, five years from now? It's not going to be, it's not going to be easy, but change is going to happen. So. It's the emotional engagement without, without a question. I think all of us realized we were all selling stuff on a shelf. There was a price in front of that item. Um, we all had promotions, we all told people that we were the lowest price and we continue, we'll continue to. But without, without a doubt, I think we, we said we wanted to emotionally engage and have, have, and make sure that the customer was having fun every time they shopped at the spa store. I think we all had a dream saying, you know, if the husband or the son or the daughter or whoever was shopping at a spa store, if they ever came in and the mom was ready to leave, they were saying, nope, we're not going home, we're having too much fun. Uh, so our, our, our differentiator clearly is our emotional quotient. To be the most engaging and innovative retailer, no two ways about it. Um, we were clear that we wanted to make a difference in the lives of our team members, our customers, our shareholders and our communities. If we make our community stronger, then we have a larger role to play. So we were very clear in terms of keep it simple but be focused on these on these uh, important uh, constituents. To everyone at uh, WCRC, to the entire jury, and most importantly to all my team members, um, it's an extremely humbling moment, and I'm not sure how to thank everybody for this opportunity and honor. I can only assure you that I will continue to work as hard as I possibly can to live up to this opportunity, honor, and do the best that I possibly can.